नमस्ते टुडे आई विल टेल यू अबाउट एनलाइटमेंट पैकेज सो ड्यूरिंग 2020-21, आई हैव सीन मेनी फेसबुक एड्स सो कॉल्ड एनलाइटमेंट गुरुज सेलिंग देयर एनलाइटमेंट पैकेजेस बिकॉज ऑफलाइन आश्रम सर ऑलमोस्ट क्लोज यू नो बिजनेस इज ओवर so i am staying near by rushikesh if you go to rushikesh right now many hotels are empty rooms are empty because it's a birth place of yoga and they are selling yoga as a course 200 hours course 500 hours course even there are many different ashrams everywhere in india they are offering different kind of courses so breathing technique they call one type of uh, uh, meditation and different different techniques your if you go to each ashram otherwise each guru they will teach you the meditation differently so they have posted specially specific name for this for example recently one of my cousin so he contacted me and asked me like about kriya yoga so he, he is practicing such a wonderful things nowadays since morning to evening properly even he is a phd doctor having doctorate uh, you know phd in a uh, engineering civil engineering so he is practicing chanting some kind of mantra morning he is doing like a sun salutation in a different not like a yoga sun salutation just saluting the sun and like a thinking like uh, imagining he is a god and he explained in a such a way i was like amazed like he explained me me explain explained me his experience i thought like uh, reading a bhagavad gita and that krishna is showing avatar for you know arjuna like how krishna is showed avatar you know of the mahavishnu you know in a such a way he explained me how he see the sun still after that he he went through a book called uh, autobiography of yogi this basically autobiography of yogi is a uh, well, you know well marketed book so they have marketed it very well so and even i have completed that book so basically there are many experiences they have they have shared you know the guru is shared in that book but there is a pitch sale pitch you can say they talk about kriya yoga so in the end you will fail if you like that book you may feel that i have to do this kriya yoga what is this all about like a siddhi or something you know like unusual thing they are talking about but this is not only one book this autobiography of yogi is well marketed book as i said so they have marketed in a such a way that you will Uh, you will get you know you will get you know you will trust it and uh, you will even amazed to know more about it even maybe join that kriya yoga course so if you if you read some other book also the swami's books you know they they talk about maha mahavatar baba ji so unusual person who uh, never died you know maybe still alive something like that so mahavatar baba ji they met mahavatar baba ji in different body types you know maybe somebody met him in a old age or somebody met him in a young body type or different different thing i can't understand wha- what is all about but still they are talking about mahavatar baba ji and uh, they explain that in different way but even if you are practicing specific uh, yoga or meditation or something it will take you to this different dimension you know like different you, you will be gradually gradually uh, progressing in spirituality because as krishna said in uh, bhagavad gita if you surrender to me i will not leave you or something like that you know like if you are following like if you are doing like something for me i will be there for you forever so you don't have to worry about it you will find a way in a, some way you know so i'm not saying like kriya yoga is wrong or the details mentioned in um, uh that book 
autobiography of yogi is wrong or something the point is the sale point sale pitch everyone doing in their book so book is just to market a ashram or their cult or some group you know so different different books if you say iskon book or some other uh, group book like uh, sri sri ravi shankar otherwise our like a uh, koyamuttur like a uh, isha yoga center sadguru's book so you will be impressed if you are into spirituality so impressed by the way of you know they are explaining the things there but the major point is to take you in their group and you know sell something you know like uh, the uh, courses or something but if you see if you are more into yoga and meditation and if you are in uh, recently my experience sharing like if you are joined this facebook if you are into facebook or something you will see some ads related to yoga automatically because artificial intelligent so if you are searching about yoga meditation courses or something automatically you will see ads google ads related to that so in that you will see many advertisements very you know famous yoga gurus or meditation practices they are selling their packages online because condition is very hard now because ashrams are almost ended there is no business since last two years now you can see some reality of the ashrams who are selling packages of enlightenment so my point is just don't go don't get into this trap just open your eyes be conscious learn more about this and do, then you get into it they will say surrender surrender to me surrender to me and kind of hypnotize you i feel like so then you will end up your life to that guru recently recently means last since you uh, know before two years before i was traveling with one one monk around uh, tiruvannamalai that monk is traveling around india since five years he told me one he asked me one question do you know why this monks you know opening the ashram so i said maybe to share their knowledge or spirituality or something like that but he said no so monks are they will open ashrams only after 50s or something because up to 40 or 50 they can travel around the world and they will get dakshina and they can stay anywhere because in india people still believe in monks and you know giving dakshina to these monks and they will worship such monks who talk about spirituality or they have given their life to this spiritual progress so they easily get food there are many ashrams they will host this kind of monks but after 45 50 they will get diseases because of having things freely so freely when some people have things freely without spending anything or you know just mind will become like that i want everything for free so then what will happen gradually gradually they will get diseases not because of the food because of the mentality of such such a way so in that time 45 50 of age they will slowly open the ashram because they can open the ashram they can convince the people there will be a group of people they will be their fan followers you know kind of fans they are ready to invest on them so they are ready to give their land to open the ashram so such people will open the ashram and some people who are a spiritual seeker they could go to them for spiritual seeking you know spiritual progress but the major point of such monks is their body which is getting old they want someone to look after and they have never married so they don't have kid so they want someone to look after this is the reality so what i am saying is open your eyes be conscious about this ashrams gurus monks and all then you choose the kriya or some kind of meditation yoga or something otherwise you will be in big trap thanks for watching please like it share it if you like and subscribe and keep it keep connected with me namaste